Uh, good morning, church. So glad to have you here with us this morning. Thanks for joining us online. And um, as you know, uh, for the month of March, this is where you can find us. We'll be here online. Uh, so uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for joining us and uh, from the comfort of your home. And uh, uh, we do this not out of, of, of fear or self-preservation. Uh, we're meeting here online uh, just as a practical outworking of loving your neighbor as yourself. And so uh, thanks for being here with us. Now, uh, much like many of you, a lot of things have been canceled. We've been cooped up like all week. I, I don't know if you're feeling this. Uh, we've all switched up to like homeschooling our kids. Some of us are working from home and uh, events as a whole have been canceled. And so uh, we've been feeling a little cagey, a little, <laughs> little cooped up. And when I start feeling that way, one of the things I like to do is just laugh. And so uh, we have a few things that I hope will make you laugh this morning, some things that I found on social media uh, that I want you to take a look at, uh, some tweets, some memes, and uh, let's take a look at the, the very first one. And the first one says this, uh, been homeschooling a six-year-old and eight-year-old for one hour and 11 minutes. Teachers deserve to make a billion dollars a year or a week. That's Shonda Rhimes, uh, um, the creator of Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder. I mean, come on. Uh, how many of us are feeling that right now? Like, man, teachers deserve rights. I'm on board with that because my wife's a teacher. A billion dollars a year is good. Okay, so the next one. Uh, you've probably seen this one. It's Bigfoot Social Distancing World Champion. He's pretty good at it. I haven't seen him in a really long time. Uh, the very next one. Uh, we're washing our hands incessantly. Man, if you're using Purell, you know this one. Uh, let me show you exactly where that paper cut is, man. That, it happens like instantaneously. It stings. Let's see the next one. <laughs> homeschooling has its own challenges. It says, uh, if you see me talking to myself this week, mind your business. I'm having a parent-teacher conference. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Have a lot of those this week, not even parent-teacher conferences. Okay, uh, the next one is uh, this raccoon, and he's like, you know, plotting something. Uh, the, the caption underneath this says, uh, waiting in a line that was really too long, and so I yelled, toilet paper on aisle five, and everybody ran. Uh, all looking for toilet paper. See the next one. Uh, this one's uh, a cat, and because toilet paper started to come by, uh, this one says, uh, this used to be funny. Uh, it's not funny anymore. This is serious business. So um, have any more? Is that it? Okay, that's it. All right. Well, hey, I uh, hope that made you laugh. I know, I know uh, we're all feeling cooped up. We're all feeling a little bit cagey, but we do believe that laughter is good medicine. And, and just a few things. Uh, to remember uh, this week that um, uh, we're praying for you and uh, we know this is difficult. We're, we're praying for all of you. And uh, we want you to remember that even though that we're uh, distant from one another, that God is among us, that he's with us. Um, he says that I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. And lo, I'm with you always, even until the end of the age. And so uh, God is with you today. And, and, and we're here praying for you as well. And, and one of the things that we want to remind you to do is to live as Jesus lived. And one of the ways that he lived was by loving his neighbor well. And so at, at a time where even we're social distancing, reach out and connect with your neighbors, whether that's by phone or text. Uh, uh, catch up with somebody that you haven't caught up with in a really long time and uh, love your neighbor well. Be, be a voice of, of hope and encouragement and love during a time of fear and panic. And let's not panic, let's have peace. So uh, I wanna encourage you to do that. I want you to remember that God is with you. He'll never leave you. And I uh, just uh, ask that you would pray with us during this time before we head into worship God. Thank you so much that you are here among us today. Uh, that you love us, and though we feel distant from one another, or though we feel uh, alone, that we're not alone because you're there among us, God, and uh, we thank you for that, and we just, we just pray for your guidance this week, and patience this week, and as we homeschool, and as we uh, are stuck inside, Lord, that you will find different ways for us to connect with you and with others, and we love you. It's in your son's name that we pray. Amen. It's important that as we get into this season, we acknowledge how great God is. The dark tried to hide you and steal you away. Death tried to keep you inside of the grave. The enemy fought you 
He tried, but he lost. Oh, you cannot be stopped. When Jimmy cried for freedom, you tore down the walls. Yeah. The weight of our burdens, you carry. and our failures hang dead on the cross yeah. you cannot be stopped come on he's the mover of mountains the mover of mountains breaker of chains Jesus has triumphed over the grave sing hallelujah the battle is won and nothing Relentless in love oh, You cannot be stopped Come on And mover of mountains Breaker of chains Jesus is triumphed Over the grave Sing hallelujah The battle is won And nothing can stand Against our God there is nothing that can stop it. There is nothing that can stop our God. Come on, sing that to him today. There is nothing that can stop our God. There is nothing that can stop our God. There is nothing. There is nothing. There is nothing that can stop our God. stop our God. There's nothing that can stop our God. There is nothing. There is nothing. There is nothing that can stop our God. There is nothing that can stop our God. There is nothing that can stop our God. There is Call these bones to live. 
all these lungs to sing once again I will praise Jesus, Jesus You make the darkness tremble Jesus, Jesus You silence fear Jesus, Jesus You make the darkness tremble Jesus, Jesus And Jesus, Jesus You make the darkness tremble Jesus, Jesus You silence fear watching this in your car just think about those words that Jesus is the one that makes the darkness tremble at this point right now there's something in your life that's bringing darkness it's blocking out your view of trusting God of seeing God for who he really is for being our creator our trusted Lord our Father. So wherever you are right now, I just want you to think about that. Whatever that thing is right now, I just want you to say it out loud wherever you are. We can't hear you. The Lord can hear you though. So just say that out loud. Let him know what's bothering you, what's coming in your way. Just say it to him. And God, right now, I pray against all of the things that have been said. God, we pray that in your name, God, that you would shine through, that you would give joy and peace that you promise us that you can, only you can give. So let us trust you right now. 
Amen. As we move forward in worship, um, we're just going to think about right-sizing our view of who God is. He is bigger than our thoughts. He's bigger than our fears. He knows every tear we cry. Let's trust him in this moment and realize that he knows what you are going through and what I'm going through. And let's lay it at his feet right now. And speak to me when the silence steals my voice. You understand me. You understand me. Come to me in the valley of unknowns. You understand me. You understand me. Yeah. You understand me, God. You understand me. Come on, let's throw our cares down. I throw all my cares before you. My doubts and fears don't scare you. You're bigger than I thought you were. You're bigger than I thought. So I stop all negotiations with the God of all creation. You're bigger than I thought you were. You're bigger than I thought you were. Yeah. Yeah. Just think on those words. He is bigger. Let's pray to him right now to help us with our belief. Let us trust him in all things. Come on, sing this with me. And I believe, but help my unbelief. You understand me. You understand me. Come on, help me reach. And help me reach the faith that's underneath. You understand me, yeah. You understand me, yes, he does. You understand me, God. You understand me. Come on, sing with me where you are. I throw all my cares before you. And my doubts and fears don't scare you. And you're bigger than I thought you were. You're bigger than I thought. So I stop all negotiations with the God of all creation. And you're bigger than I thought you were. You're bigger than I thought you were. Yeah. He's so much bigger. Come on, in this moment, let's lay those things at his feet. And sing this with me. I will rest. In the Father's hands, I will rest in the Father's hands. That's where we receive our peace. Leave the rest in the Father's hands. Come on, I will rest. I will rest. Lay it down in the Father's hands. I leave the rest. In the Father's hands I will rest, yeah. I will rest in the Father's hands. Come on, he's ready to hold you. Leave the rest in the Father's hands. I will rest, I will rest in the Father's hands. He is such a big God and He loves you 
so much. Give him praise today. Come on, let's give him praise one more time. Lift it up with me, yeah. So much bigger than I thought you were. And God, we echo the sentiments of those lyrics. We echo that declaration to you. I pray, God, that those words would stick in our hearts as we move into this new week, this new uncharted week for so many of us. God, let us bring it back to your word and realize, God, that you promise us you're not going to leave us or forsake us. You promise us that if your eye is on the sparrow and you think about even the birds in the air, God, that we should never fear that you're going to take care of us. So, God, I pray that we're grateful for all that you give us. I pray that you are the first one that we turn to when we need help. You're the first one that we turn to when we need to trust in something. God, let it be you. We love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.